Meet the A3, the latest home charge point from premium brand Anderson. Hello, future Danny here. Well, that aged rather poorly, didn't it? Because at the time of filming, the Anderson A3 was the latest charger from Anderson, but they've since released the Anderson Quartz. So yeah, that bit of information is a bit wrong now. However, I'm sure we'll have a review of the Anderson Quartz in the near future. Now, back to the video. And if it looks familiar, well, that's because it's essentially a more compact and cheaper version of the A2, arguably the first home EV charger that took style seriously. It still has all the same fancy customization options and plenty of finishes to choose from to match your home perfectly. And of course, it still retains the same nifty hidden cable storage feature. So should you spend your hard earned cash on the A3? And if you're gonna go for an Anderson, should you choose the A3 over the A2? Let's dive in. In terms of design, the A3 seems to have raided its older sibling's wardrobe because these two chargers look almost identical. But if you take a closer peek, you'll spot a few sneaky differences beyond just their size. First up, the Anderson A3 now comes with an extra set of convenience lights that light up the floor as you approach because who doesn't love a little VIP treatment? While the hidden cable storage is a highlight of Anderson products keeping the cable neatly stored, you do have to wrap it around just right to get it to fit perfectly. But it means that you can't wrap it around lazily like you can with other tether chargers such as the Hypervolt and Tesla wall connector. Anderson did try to fix this problem with the A3 by installing a flap at the bottom that guides the cable into its right place, but we found this to be of little help. Where the A3 is able to step out the shadow from its older sibling, or rather where the A2 is able to flex its big brotherly muscles, is the cable choice. Unlike the Anderson A2, which gives you the choice of a 5.5 meter or 8.5 meter charging cable, and can also be upgraded to 22 kilowatt charging speeds, the A3 sticks with a 5.5 meter cable and maxes out at 7.4 kilowatts. We suspect that helps keep the cost down and being honest, it's more than enough cable for most people and it still delivers around 30 miles of range per hour of charge, which is plenty, especially if you're charging overnight. With the launch of the A3, Anderson waved goodbye to the Connect app and built a brand new companion app from the ground up, aptly named the Anderson app. Now, we didn't exactly hate the Connect app, but let's just say we wouldn't want to go back. The Anderson app is sleeker, smarter, and feels way more in tune with Anderson's premium vibe. But it's not just about looking pretty, there are some cool upgrades too. Firstly, tariff integration gets some much needed attention. The old app let you select a tariff and track charging costs, but the info wasn't always up to date, which led to some frustratingly inaccurate schedules. Well, no more as the new Anderson app keeps tariff details fresh and even brings in support for OVO charge anytime, meaning A3 customers can access OVO's tariff add-on for super cheap EV charging at any time of the day. As for Intelligent Octopus Go, there's no support as of yet, but we're staying hopeful. What really had us cheering though is that Anderson kept the scheduling as user-friendly as ever. You can still set multiple schedules, name them, perfect for those with different weekend and weekday routines, and tweak things with ease. Oh, and for the solar savvy among us, there's now a handy feature that lets you charge with grid energy during off-peak hours, while soaking up excess solar energy when your panels are generating power. So, should you buy the Anderson A3? Well, if your budget can handle it, and you're after a charger that oozes style and customization, the A3 should certainly be at the top of your shortlist, alongside the Simpson & Partners Home 7 series. But if you're buying the Anderson A3 just for its hidden cable storage, then at the price point you're paying, you might be a little disappointed with it, although the end result is still the neatest on the market. Now, you might be thinking, does the Anderson A3 replace the A2? Well, no. The A3 still doesn't offer 22 kilowatt charging, which is over double the charging speed of a seven kilowatt charger. Of course, you will need a three phase power supply at your property to achieve this. More on that in the pop-out banner above, and a car that supports three phase charging speeds. 
You might also want to consider the A2 over the A3 if you think that the 5.5 meter cable does not stretch far enough as the A2 offers a longer 8.5 meter cable. If neither of these apply to you, then definitely get the A3. We hope you found this review of the Anderson A3 helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as we've got plenty more guides, tips and reviews on the way. You'll find a more detailed written review in the description below as well as a link to our best home EV chargers video if you'd like to explore other options. As always, feel free to comment below if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.